Hello, this is Colin Thompson. Welcome to the next video in our COVID Coaches series. In this series, life coaches like myself and Coach Janine Jacob offer tips and insights on how you and your family can best make it through the COVID outbreak, especially with the restrictions we have in place. Now, if you've seen our videos before, you know that Coach Janine Jacob is a happiness coach. Today, she's gonna to come back and talk to us about habits and also about how to make sure that we're finding happiness during this time. Coach Janine, welcome back. Thank you. I'm super happy to be with you. So, Janine, um, first of all, how have you been? I know, I know right now you are literally maybe two miles away from where I am here in Shanghai, so not too far from me. Um, I know, I, I like to say, we can now see the sunshine, right? Things are returning back to normal. But before we go into our, our, our topic today, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Um, overall, I'm good. Um, I can't complain, uh, except for I have a big project that I'm working on and I do a lot of research. I have to write a lot. I'm preparing something for my well-being consulting. So it's a lot of research and interviews and people who know me, you know, I love to speak, but I don't like to write. So it's super exciting what I learned in there and it has to be. So I'm a little bit stressed out, but it's also exciting. Right. And I do even ask, ask you because what you're saying is things are getting back to normal in your life. You're back, you're busy, you're working. Um, things are, things have somewhat gotten to, I like to say maybe a new normal and you look very, very happy. I can say that I am very, very happy as well. And perhaps we are happy because we are seeing life return to normal. But we also want to think about the people who are going through, I think globally, outside of Europe and Italy, I think Italy is maybe a week seven, week, week eight. Um, I know in South America and the US, they're around about at week three or four with this really taking over their lives. Mm -hmm. I recall when I was in week three and four, I started to have a shift in my behavior. And I'll tell you why. The last time you were here, we talked about, you talked about developing habits and routines and the importance of, of, of having a, a positive habit and having a routine. And I know that a lot of my friends in the U.S. tell me they're catching up on a lot of Netflix. They're doing a lot of sitting on the couch, a lot of watching TV series. I was doing that as well. But I found that after, and I was doing that to cope, right? But I found that after week three and four, those same coping habits weren't bringing me any happiness. As a matter of fact, week one, two, and three, I love my couch. By week three and four, I couldn't stand to sit on my couch. So today I want to talk about something that you're very well skilled in, happiness, and how we can look to develop routines that can carry us through, knowing that we don't know how long this is going to last, but more importantly, routines that make us happy. Okay, before we go into routines that make us happy, I would like to share a few facts with you. Okay. And especially, I mean, the USA, this is where a lot of science of happiness comes from. And this is now a lot of research from positive psychology, neuroscience, biology. And it's just so interesting. You know, I learned about it in my master's degree and it changed my life, even as a business person. So why should you actually care about happiness? The nice thing is even for people, if they want to be successful in their life, if you're happy right here, right now, your chances of becoming successful in the future are actually higher. Mm -hmm. So there is a correlation between happiness and success. And now we also want to talk about health. I mean, right now the virus, it's about health. So here's the interesting thing that people who actually are happy, they live longer. Or even like research find out, found out that people um, who practice happiness and who are happy, um, they also have like a better um, heart. Or um, like, did you know that positive emotions actually make us more resilient? And if there's something that we need right now, it's resilience how to be able to bounce back more easily or optimism for example helps us achieve goals so there are so many like really cool facts out there what the science of happiness found out why it actually makes sense to practice happiness and let me tell you this one really really cool thing because sometimes tell me people tell me oh i can't be happy because i'm not rich or um because um of 
other kind of reasons and people come up with excuses. And actually research also found out that only, so happiness is actually a skill that you can learn. Right. It's like, um, mm -hmm. like soft skills, people skills. And here's the cool thing um, to, to finish this of what research found out. Happiness is not set in stone. So only 10% of your happiness actually comes from your income and environment. And only 50% comes from your genes and your upbringing. So what are the other 40%? And this is why we're talking today. 40% of your happiness actually comes from activities and relationships. And this is something that you can apply in your daily routines and habits. Not even now um, during the Corona time, um, but at all times. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do, right? Because I agree with you. And I would say, I, I, I hear your numbers, and I would say that in my view, right, happiness is 100% dependent on the person. You can't look to other people, other things to make you happy. You have to be able to find happiness yourself. Now, we know relationships, other things help us to be happy, but it's really an individual responsibility to find happiness. What I'd like you to do, help us, help us to identify what are some things that we can do during this time um, of, 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 of tension, during this time of uneasiness, during this time of fear, what are some things people can do right now to be happy? I'm going to say this on a daily basis because I think happiness is also contagious. If you are happy inside the household, hopefully, maybe, if we're lucky, somebody else will catch that virus, right? Catch the happy bug. So what can we do um, on a daily basis and to, to be happy? And maybe that becomes a routine or a habit, right? The happiness habit. Well, right now we're actually doing the first activity already. Something so simple and the cool thing is it doesn't cost you a lot of time and it doesn't cost you money. What is it? Smiling. Oh. <laughs> Smiling and laughing. Like, just look at me right now. As you said, like, happiness is contagious. It's like a positive um, disease. Okay. And I hope that if you're looking at me right now, for everyone out there, no matter where you are right now, that the positivity, the muscles that I use, the hormones I'm sending out, or even like through my voice, right. that I really hope you can like hear it, feel it, and that the positive happiness virus is already spreading on you. Right. But well, hold yet, on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, because this goes back to what, came, what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? So if I'm not happy, right, if I'm worried about the fact, I, I just lost my job, um, I don't know what, what money's gonna come in, I'm worried about the coronavirus attacking our, our, our family. Um, my friends are sick. If I'm not happy, I can't smile, right? So I'm, I'm going to push you further, mm, right? How do I turn my, it's going to sound corny, how do I turn my frown upside down, right? How do I smile if I'm not happy? That's a really good question. And um, again, there's a lot of uh, research out there that showed that by influencing and using your body, like body language, uh, facial expressions, you can even add change of what is inside your mind. Right. So you can change your mood. Um, I think this was actually um, like that Yale found it out. It was um, in a lecture where um, a professor said or like tried to help a person to overcome her fears. And she said, just said, fake it till you make it. Like pretend. Uh, like you're your favorite actor or actress right. and you're the best presenter if this is something you want to become pretend you are happy so just by forcing it like for example here right i'm right. putting on the biggest smile. possible smile and by now keeping this position and for let's say one minute you can already feel a change. And you know what? When I used to do my daily check-in calls for my online community during the coronavirus time, at the end of the 30-minute um, online call, the online networking and socializing, right. we always did a one-minute, I call it hardcore smiling exercise. Wow. Yeah. And what we just did is, as I said, just like look at yourself in the camera, look at yourself in the mirror, look at all the people. If you have an online call with people or people in your room, family, friends, look at them and put on the biggest 
smile. Right. And the most important is you have to keep that smile for one minute. Do not move like this. One minute smile. You know Fake what? it till you make it. This is most important. It's okay if you don't feel happy, but according to what a research found out, it's really like that the right signals will be sent in your brain that right. afterwards you will feel happier. You feel, will feel more positive and the more often you practice this, and this could become something like when you get up in the morning, you just, even if it feels awkward and it's normal and it's okay, do why don't you just smile at yourself in the mirror and it's okay you pretend to be somewhere else because at one point after a few days, it becomes yes, so more good. natural and I'm yeah. sure you will perceive some positive outcomes. Let me, let, let me see. when you started talking about, when I, we started answering a question and you started with the Yale study, in my mind I was going, oh gosh, we're going to talk about some, something up here, nothing practical. But you, you are, are very correct because um, I tried this before. Uh, you know, when I used to commute to work, you know, in Shanghai, it's subway. It's, it's subway, subway, subway. And during the rush hour, you see everybody in there like this. You know, no smiles. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to start smiling on my way to work. And I'm walking down the street. And I'm walking down the street just like this. Because I don't want to have that frown. And I found that two things happen. When I'm like this, right? Somebody might look at me and, uh-huh. And smile also, smile back at me, right? So I'm spreading my smile. But more importantly, I felt happier after doing it. You know, I wasn't necessarily down before, but I felt, you know, it's hard not to feel happy when you're smiling. And a lot of people now whom, and this is a challenge we have to all of you guys, right? You might not want to smile, right? But here's the challenge. Just try this in the morning or, or whenever. But take, as, Janine, as Coach Janine said, take one minute and just smile. Right, just smile. Fake or, it till you make it. Yeah, yeah. Fake it till you make it, or, or and smile and have a smile contest with your family members. Right, say so let's just smile for one minute and see how you feel. I, I, I don't want to say I guarantee you, but mm -hmm. odds are you will feel better because it's, it's, it's very important that you you find these little, I say tricks or 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 hacks, right, to be mm -hmm. happy. And again, I like to say building these routines that give you happiness on a daily basis. And Coach Janine, I know you, as, as, as I said, you're a happiness coach. And I know you actually have a program, right? A 30-day program. And I'll tell you what I like about your program. I'll, ask, I'll let you exp explain in a moment. I found during this, during this uh, homestay time, the lockdown time, that I tried several different uh, uh, challenges. I had a 30-day creativity challenge where every day you, you create some piece of art I'm not artistic, so it was very challenging for me, but around week five, I started looking forward to it each day. I also did a 15-day, 21-day um, relationship challenge uh, by Coach oh, Kenesha wow. Berry, who's also one of our COVID coaches. And that was just, you know, talking about how to make your relationship better. Even though I didn't think I, didn't think I had any issues in my relationship, but I found out through that challenge that maybe I did anyway. But I like those time-based, duration-based challenges because it gives you a goal each day and at the end, you can look back and see what you accomplished. So you have a program, right, which is all about happiness. So can you share that program with us? Yes. So basically, I established a 30-day happiness booster program in December. So this was just um, when we still did not really know about um, the coronavirus. Um, yeah. And basically, what is it about? So... Some researchers say it takes about 21 days. Other people say it's 30 days or 60 or 90 days till you can actually create a new automated habit or routine. Like brushing teeth, it gets, it's, it's normal for you. You don't even have to think about it. It's automated. So basically, um, as I just sh shared, 40% of your happiness can come from activities and relationships. So within the 30 days, Every day I have a short video of five to 10 minutes where I choose a topic and then I give you a homework. And this could be something super simple and most important is you do this activity, you do the homework. Because as said, this is how you, how you can actually boost those positive emotions and right. the happiness. And this is something like super, super simple. Sometimes you just like have to get a bit out of your comfort zone, but the more often you do these activities, you get faster, you get better. And you may not like one of them, but I'm pretty sure you may like a lot of the other activities. 
Smiling is one thing. Smiling at strangers on the street, well, you can't do this right now. Or, for example, when it comes to gratitude, it's one of the keys to happiness. Writing down um, something in the morning like, how am I going to make this day wonderful? Hmm. Or practicing compassion. It's another key to happiness. So, like, as we feel bad... And we all go through this during the time. Imagine how you would actually talk to your best friend, to your family member. Something like, hey, it's okay that you're not having a good time. Let me hug you. Like, you're showing love. You're being compassionate with, your, with this person who you really care about. Now, imagine being like this with yourself. Right. We often forget about it. We also deserve some own hug, some self-love, some, like, being nice to ourselves, not always hustling. Um, yeah, so compassion is another um, topic where you can have a lot of different activities and that you can even include in a meditation or you can do some journaling. Um, mindfulness is another key to happiness. So we have different activities uh, to mindfulness. For example, mindful eating. Have you ever tried out mindful eating? I, I've I've never I've never tried out mindful. I've been mindful of what I'm eating, but I've never tried out <laughs> mindful m mindful eating. But I, I want to say that I'm, you know what I'm going to jump in right here. I, I'm going to I'm going to take your thirty day your thirty day program. I'm going to try it right because it's very simple, okay. and I think you can never be too happy. And you know, to our to our viewers, I, I want to I want to really reinforce the fact that not just during this time, but especially during this time, it's important to find uh, a way to be happy every day. And in our last video with Coach Janine, she gave us a, a statistic, and I knew about it before, and maybe my numbers are wrong, but I'll say it anyway. For every negative thing we take in, it takes so much more positive messages just to bring you back to a, to, to a, to a normal state. So if you're watching news, um, I'm quite sure you're getting phone calls from family members who are, aren't feeling well, who are sick. It's very much, it's very important that we have things that are coming in that are making us happy. We need to take in much more happiness information than we take in sad news, right? So, you know, it, it take, you know, look at, look at Janine's program. The information should be here somewhere. If you don't take her program, find another way to be happy every day. Take time now, go Google how to be happy right? And, and be, be the person in your family, be that example of, of the person who is being happy and let that sort of matriculate down through your family because it's very important to have that positive and happy mindset. So Janine, before we close out, um, what would be your, your, biggest, your biggest tip or yeah, your biggest tip on how to not just be happy, but now how to make others happy, right? Because I think once we have that happiness, we then need to sort of spread that. So how, how do we, what's the, what's the best tip to spread happiness to other people inside and outside of your house? How about that? Okay. First of all, I want to say we are all humans. So if you expect to be 100% happy at all times, that's not possible. So um, no, that we're all humans, right? So yes, I do cry. I do have negative emotions and thoughts sometimes because I'm a human. But... First of all, and this is something my professor actually told me, first of all, you have to take care of your own, yeah. of yourself. Take your me time. I think we quickly mentioned this last time. And if you are well, if you are well taken care of yourself, and this can be at least 50 minutes a day where you do something that is good for you. And again, it doesn't always have to cost any money or so. You can do this anywhere, something that you enjoy. And only if you are doing well, you can actually also really take care of other people and spread your own happiness in an authentic way. Um, like often people tell me because I post things in the morning and I kind of like spread out some inspiration, motivation, positive things. And people say, wow, you smile all the time when I see you. Sure. I'm also tired. And so, but for example, I love my job. That's why, why I smile a lot. So here, the advice, firstly, take care of yourself and uh, be authentic you, work on your happiness, boost your positivity, work on your mindset, and then you can also help a lot more people out there. Like we do it right now, and we love to do it, and if you love doing something, then it's like an increase of positivity. 
Right. And I'm going to give one tip also. Uh, I'll give a tip that I found to be very helpful. Um, when I'm, when I'm not, two things. So when I'm not feeling as, as happy and cherry, I'll call a friend of mine who can always tell me a joke, right? So one thing we can do, we can use people we know that are happy and, and ask them to, to sort of pick us up. And they'll be glad to do it. The other thing is, you know, when I'm not feeling so happy, I help somebody do something, right? Or I'll call somebody and just say, hey, I love you. I'll send something positive. And I find that when I do that, it, does, it, it picks me up a little bit. I may not be so, so happy after, but it does pick me up. So, um, and each of these involve other people, right? So using, using other people, right, to make you happy. So, so Jean, Coach Janine, thank you for coming back to the program. Uh, we know you're going to be coming back. You're one of our, uh, our, our consistent COVID coaches. And again, guys, um, these videos are really designed to help you guys go through this time. We're not so much giving a lot of tips just on what we experienced. We're also giving some advice and coaching as to how you can make this work in your household, uh, how you can have a strong and positive mindset. If you do want some, somebody to talk to, find somebody to talk to. If you can't find anybody to talk to, you can contact any of us and we'll make some time for you. And of course, of course what we're doing, we want to, uh, we want to do this at, I'm gonna say for the benefit of the people. So reach out to us, we'll make some time. Um, it's very important that you do, again, have a positive mindset and you get through this, not just yourself, but with your family. Uh, healthy and whatnot. So guys, thank you. And we'll see you on another episode. And I definitely would love to make my happiness booster program available to you guys. And uh, details are coming. Have an awesome day and night and greetings from Shanghai. Yeah. Bye-bye.